Hi everyone, today I'm here doing first impressions on the Hello Flawless Foundation by Benefit. It actually says Hello Flawless Oil Free Oxygen Wow Broad Spectrum SPF 25 Brightening Sunscreen Makeup. It's a name and a half. Anyway, my color is in honey. So I'm just going to get started. Now I am going to use my favorite primer first. So my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I'm just going to take that because I would normally wear a primer. Okay, so like the packaging is really cute. It is unlike anything else I have in my collection. I like that it is plastic. So if you drop it, it won't smash at all. Like there's no chance of that happening. And I really am a big fan of the pump. So I think that's great. Benefit do have packaging that is quite different to everything else. It's very unique and I like that about it. I just want to show you this. I know it's not related to this video, but look at all my clean brushes. They're all like so clean. <laughs> Never seen that before, have you? Which one shall I choose? I don't know. I might choose the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush today. So I do take my foundation on the brush. A lot of people don't like that. This looks really, really dark. I am quite tan. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it's okay. That is a lot of coverage. That's really great. I'll just do one side first. Yeah, that matches okay, actually. So, it goes on quite nicely. It doesn't... I can't smell anything fun. It doesn't really have a scent. Oh, it has a little bit of a scent, but it doesn't smell like sunscreen, considering it's a foundation sunscreen. I think I took, like, one or two pumps, but they were, like, the first pumps, so they're a bit small. So, it does thin out quite a bit after you buff it in. It actually thins out quite a lot. So for someone like me, I would probably want to do two layers because I do really like high coverage foundations. You can really still see that redness there. I'll take another pump. So that's probably a half a pump. And I'll buff that into the forehead. The other thing is I am using a new brush, so it's probably all getting sucked into the brush. Well, it does seem to spread quite well and quite evenly, even though it is quite... Thin. I actually really like the color. I think that blends in quite well with with my skin. It's coming up like really I look really pale on the screen, but I am actually quite tan. So that's one layer versus my normal skin. So I've done the first layer of all of the face, so I'll do a second one and see how it goes. It does have very light coverage, I would say. But hopefully it's buildable so I can build that up and cover more of my redness. My nose is still quite red and so are my cheeks. Okay, second layer time. That's going on quite streaky the second time. But let's see what it's like when it's buffed in. Alright, so I've been putting it on my face for about 9 minutes now. And I don't know, I'm not that impressed with it to be honest. As I said, I do like foundations to be quite full coverage. And I just feel like it's still got a lot of redness, like especially on my nose, heaps there. And also on my cheeks. So, I don't know. My powder and everything will probably cover it up. It'll probably be fine. I do really like the colour. I think it matches me quite well. So that's great. I don't know if you can see, but it just looks really like patchy on the nose. So I am going to film another video doing the rest of my makeup, but I will check back with this later. Okay, so this is my full face of foundation. It is currently 10.30 in the morning, so I will test and see how it goes throughout the day. I'll check back in with you. I won't retouch it. I do have a lot of filming to do today. I like how it looks at the moment. It comes up really nice on the screen, like, yeah matches my skin tone really well. I'll take a photo and insert it of with flash and without flash uh, just to see what it looks like. It will be interesting because it does have SPF uh, 25, I think. Yeah, 25 in that. So it really should show up if I do take a photo with flash. So yeah, I'll check back with you later. It's currently 10.30 in the morning and yeah. Okay, so it's currently 1.02 p.m. I'm a little bit far away from the screen but I think the foundation is actually wearing better as the longer that I've had it on. It doesn't look as funny over my nose now and it's just really just blended into my skin. I'm really happy with it actually. It has gone a little bit oily I would say there but then um 
yeah you can tell that my skin is really shiny when I first put it on it would have been matte like I haven't put any highlighter or anything up here and it looks really shiny I only put highlighter there but I look quite shiny on the nose and the chin uh, but that's it for now it's uh, about one o'clock and yeah I'll check in with you later Okay, so it's now 7.30 at night. So I've been wearing the foundation for around 8 hours, I think. And my face, as you can see, is quite shiny and oily. I'm sure it would be fine if I did a touch-up. But, like, look, you can just see the light just beaming off of it. Over around the nose, it's, it's just gone really bad. I don't know what would happen if you was to touch it, if it would come off. And like around my chin, like forehead, dust everywhere is just really, really oily. So considering I do have, I tend to have oily skin, but it has been quite good lately. I wouldn't recommend this for anyone with oily skin. I guess it would be good for like a dewy finish foundation for those who like that or have dry skin. But I don't know, if I were going to wear this, I would make sure that I have my powder with me at all times. So what I'm gonna do is touch up the foundation with my powder and I'm sure that'll make it fine. But you know, we'll see. I'll just touch up while I'm inside. I do really like this foundation though. It does have good coverage. And like the same power is there, it just makes me oily, which is a downside, but I don't know. I do really like it. Maybe it would be different with a different primer because the L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer, it does have that glow underneath. So I wonder if using a different primer would aid in that staying longer, like if I use a matte primer or something like that. I'll touch up the rest of my face. already that like makes such a difference I haven't noticed any of it really transfer it has stayed in place quite well I haven't done that much today to be honest I've just been on the couch watching TV shows and and editing and I did film some other videos but I haven't been out of the house today so I haven't been out in the weather this foundation, personally, I wouldn't wear if I needed it to last all day long and all night. I would just wear it to something that I knew, you know, I had to go for a few hours or, you know, didn't need to look amazing for a long period of time. Kind of like close-up looks a little bit cakey with the extra powder on there, but that's something that I'd be willing to have just so I didn't look so oily. That's just a personal preference. I suppose it would have more of a natural look if you just left the one coat on. Um, but I, as I said, I like full coverage foundation, so that's why I went with the two coats. But yeah, I do like the way it looks. It, do, it does look nice and flawless, uh, in my opinion. I really like that about it. So I hope that gave you an insight to what I thought of the Hello Flawless Foundation by Benefit. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'd love to hear what you think and how it worked on your skin. Everyone's skin is different, so someone who has dry skin might just love this foundation. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!